Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today is hay. It's uh, the time of year when we can go through a lot of hay, so our hay mile is empty, and today I'm hoping to get a significant amount from our reserve barn and move it over to our main horse staple. And you might be thinking, but didn't you just say that you're starting using round bales? Why are you getting square bales? Excellent question. Uh, we want to use round bales right now, but the weather is not allowing us. Uh, in order for us to use the round bales to their fullest potential, uh, without having any of the problems that I mentioned in the previous video, I highly encourage that you take a look at that video first. That being said, uh, right now, uh, the ground, it's it's been above 50 degrees past week. It's been raining every single day past week. Uh, the horses don't like to eat the hay after it's been rained on a couple times, and then it basically just becomes waste. Uh, we are using square bales right now. Uh, we were able to put them out, and it actually went completely well. They ate everything. Not a single horse lost weight. Uh, we didn't have any problems with mold or dust forming. The bales were really good. Now the good news is that's gonna be changing this upcoming week. Things are supposed to get back down below freezing and the only precipitation we're seeing is snow. So that brings me to today. Uh, today I'm hoping to get two whole wagon loads of hay from our reserve barn and bring them over so that way they're here in our horse stable. And I actually have some help coming today. So let me introduce you guys to the crew. Hey, I'm Jonah. I'm Gavin. I'm back. How's it going? It's me again, Darrell. Some new faces and some familiar faces for sure. It's going to be a good one. Uh, but that being said, before they get here, because this is being filmed before they arrive, um, I'm going to get the tractor hooked up to everything, get everything checked and ready uh, before they arrive so that when they do arrive, we can just get started and get going. Okay. Oh yeah, we're good. <laughs> All right, so everybody is here, which is exciting. We got the whole crew together. As you guys saw, I got the green wagon down. We just got to move the red wagon as well as the hay elevator down. We're expecting to unload an entire section of the barn and move to a different section that's a lot easier to unload with the hay elevator. So we're actually taking it down to the red barn today. Our goal is to be upwards of around 400 bales, but we'll see if we get that far. Everyone's looking pretty excited and ready for the job, so let's get started. All right, so we made it back to our red barn where we have all of our hay. And thankfully, it looks like they've taken out the, all that straw, which opened up a lot of room for me to get in there with the hay. I think the way that it's gonna work is I'm gonna be inside throwing hay down uh, to Jonah, and Jonah's gonna be taking that hay and throwing it down into the wagon. And then Gavin and Darrell will be on the wagon stacking. And you guys know Gavin very well, and you also have met Darrell in one of our previous hay videos, but Jonah's a newcomer to the channel. So I'd like to introduce you guys to Jonah. Hey there, my name is Jonah. Just doing some hay with the boys. It is certainly gonna be a lots of fun. I enjoyed this. So Jonah, how did you get roped into helping me do hay? Uh, I've been doing this for actually quite a bit, uh, for a few years back, but I haven't done it lately. Just been busy with work, so 
I had some free time and I'm here to help. See that guys, you always gotta make sure you have friends that'll help you out in a pinch, move some hay. Jonah, thank you very much. I appreciate your help. Oh, you're welcome. I enjoy it. So as you guys can see, it's actually emptied out quite a bit in here. Thanks to them taking out a lot of straw. Wow. Uh, so you're actually able to see a little bit. This section right here is hay. That's all straw. And then this section in here is all hay. So we're gonna hope to empty this whole section that I'm standing on out today. And then we're gonna be uh, grabbing the rest out of that section. By our estimates, there's still around 700 bales that's, that's in here. So we're on track with moving it, that's for sure. All right, gents, we ready? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'll try to throw it. Oh, no. Oh, that throw was pretty good. That was. Yeah, that was. Oh, God. Throw it up. Oh, yeah. Uh, 200 on this wagon. And 200 on that wagon right there. All right, we got one wagon fully loaded, 200 plus, we're, we're thinking like 205 on this. So now all we gotta do is get that guy, put in the same position and load him up. So we're hoping to have two fully loaded wagons, then we'll break for lunch. Then we're gonna unload these guys right inside the horse stable. How we doing, Gavin? How we doing, Darrell? Awesome. How we doing, Jonah? So we got the wagon, um, that whole section of the barn completely emptied out, which filled up the red wagon and put about 75, maybe 50 on the green. So we're moving over to this section of the barn. We're gonna grab the hay elevator, put it in, and we'll load the rest of the wagon with the hay elevator. Guys, I got some bad news. My battery's almost dead. We'll charge it up over lunch, and if it dies before we talk to you, we'll see you after lunch. All right, so we have everything set up and ready to unload. I forgot the extension cord, so Gavin is heading out, and he's gonna go pick up that extension cord and be back. We're gonna get that first load of hay backed in and set up. It's gonna be just like normal. We're gonna be taking the hay, putting it on the conveyor. It's gonna take it, drop it right in the hay mow, where uh, my, myself and Gavin, or Jonah, We'll be down there stacking, and then Darrell will be on the wagon. How you guys doing? Pretty good. Uh, it's been pretty fun as usual, but yeah, just some hard work. Tired yet? Uh, no, not really. Ooh, how about you, Darrell? I'm a little bit tired, but pretty good. Awesome. You guys ready for two more wagons? <laughs> yeah. All right, so we have the wagon backed in. We have everything getting set up and ready to go. Now it's just a matter of getting it all in here. And as you guys can see, it's crazy to believe, but our mow is empty. So I'm gonna get started on here. I'm gonna find a place to put the camera and uh, let's get some sweet shots, huh? <laughs>
Okay, so we just finished unloading the first wagon. Uh, you can see uh, where we're at right now. With uh, loading and unloading, it's a lot more work because you have to work on loading it up and unloading it at the same point in time. You don't have to worry about just unloading the wagon. So things are looking up, things are looking good. What we're gonna do is sneeze. <coughs> we're gonna take this. Uh, we have some excess hay that we're just gonna take and put inside one of the round bale feeders for feeding tonight. And then we're gonna take the wagon, park it, and then go grab the red wagon. Gavin, what are you doing? Trying to untie this. Let's go. Woo! We got it. We have the red wagon backed in, set up with the hay, uh, hay elevator. Gavin and Darrell this time are on the wagon, and Jonah's in the mow with me, which is super spicy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this on a time lapse, and we'll get this going. We've only got a half hour, maybe 45 minutes of daylight left. All right, uh, we have just about run out of all natural lighting, so I apologize for the rest of the lighting in this video, but it is not going to be good. The Mao is way better than it was when we first started. We got 415 bales added today, and we definitely are tired. All we gotta do now is we've got a couple loose bales that we gotta take down into the big pasture. That way the horses will be able to lap that up and eat that so it doesn't go to waste we're done i also just wanted to add that uh today my mom and dad finished doing the matting in the aisleways guys you'll have to let us know what you think if you remember before this was just a single mat running all the way down but it is dual mats now and wow 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 does that look so much better that is incredible hey jonah why are you wearing a cowboy hat <laughs> it was given to me years ago by Joel's father, Jonathan, and it's been really nice. Ooh, so. do you like it? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Guys, I can't thank each and every single one of you enough for helping me out today. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. <gasps> Woo! Woo! All right, guys. I hope you certainly enjoyed watching the video today, but sadly, this is where we're going to be marking an end of the video. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.